I'm calling my lawyer. That's fine. But we're gonna take the kids. No, you're now. Not. Yes, we are. I'm allowed to swear. You are not. Freedom of speech. <laughs> It's a beautiful day on Lake Chautauqua in Wisconsin, where one woman's temper is about to really rock the boat. Listen, sit down and talk, okay? I'm telling you to sit down and talk right now. Dude, okay. you're, yeah, and you're telling me you're taking the, my kids, but you don't even know their dad's okay. name. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. She's on a boat in the middle of the ocean. The cops know exactly where she is to come take her kids like what like you know how serious it's gotta be the cops they go and find you on a boat in the water in the ocean in the middle of the ocean to come take your kids away i'm gonna i'm gonna go on a limb here i'm gonna go on a limb here and say we've got another psycho mother of the year <laughs> Maybe I misspoke on the father's name of the caller, but both fathers, I spoke both of them. What's both fathers? Okay. So that, wait, wait. So both her baby daddies spoke to the same police officer. They, they're they working together to get the kids removed from her. I wonder why. Do you know what it takes to get both of your baby fathers, your baby daddies, whatever it is, ghetto messes, to work together against you? Because of how terrible of a mother you must be. Now, we don't have all the evidence and proof and all that, but to get two men that you were with. Why would you call the dads of my children? They called us. That's why we're here. They called us. I have, yeah, and my lawyer said Where's that I at? get them until the date that is on my phone. Okay. My lawyer said I get them until the date that's on my phone. You're looking at 34-year-old Alicia Orzel, a mom of three who was just informed that both of her kids' fathers have called requesting the children be returned. They can't just come and get them. I need that's like, that's like a, isn't that like a civil matter? I have, that's between you and the court. Yeah, okay? I have kids. I Stop have yelling. Kids. Stop yelling Dude, right now. In, you don't even know the name of the Stop children. Stop yelling right yeah. now. Sit down. Sit down and talk. No. You're scaring the children. You're scaring my children. You're scaring me That's coming here telling me you're going to take my kids and you don't even know the name of the dad. Wait, guys, do you see the guy in the back? He had his shirt over his head. He's stressed out. He's rubbing his... He's... He looks like he's going to have a heart attack. Is that her boyfriend? Her man? It can't be one of the baby daddies because they both called the cops and she would be like... I'm so confused, but he's not even trying to stand up for her. Like he's not trying to do anything. So clearly he knows about her because he just looks like, but then I'm thinking, wait a second. How would they even know where she is? Unless someone else is letting the police or the baby daddies know precisely where she is in the middle of the daggone ocean. Police know the man, seen here with Alicia, is allegedly behind the initial reports. Let's see what he has to say. Ted, do you know why we're here? You can speak up too, sir, because I'm pretty sure you know why we're here. With that man seemingly unwilling to fess up, Alicia decides it's time to make a phone call. I'm calling my lawyer. That's fine. But we're going to take the kids No, you're now. not. Yes, we are. No, you're not. Kids, you guys have life jackets? Can you grab your life jackets? You have, you we'll get this phone straightened phone? out when we get back to the house, okay? okay. We're you're going okay. to the house. It's okay. You're okay. Okay? Moments later, Alicia gets a hold of that alleged lawyer. Let's see how far that gets her. I'm in the middle of a late night. They show up on a not them said the alleged lawyer. I have never. They said about an alleged crime or something, but this isn't a alleged lawyer. Telling me they're taking the kids, and at first they didn't even know the names of their dad, who the dad is. I misspoke, I apologize. I know that, but you're in charge of Dominic's suit. So I have it writing on how long I'm supposed to get him. He can just call the cops for up to show up or something. Well, but you're my lawyer. I have it in writing I want to get that. But you told me if I have it in writing this time, I want to get that. I know, but I have it in writing this time. So, so then the cops can just come here and terrorize my kids one day and not even know their names. I can't stand it. I'm supposed to 
let my kids go to these random pops to show up on a phone? Lisa, You're stop swearing. Come on, Steve. Tell me what to do. Wait, you, you, don't you don't have to worry. Yeah. You guys don't have to worry. Don't be scared. We'll get it straightened out. You are. Both of the dads are here. I understand, honey. But your dad wants you to come back. Okay. Yeah. No. It's okay. Okay, well, they're going to come with us now, and then no, you can... they're not yes. going with you now. No, okay. Not. Alicia, if you obstruct and resist us, we're going to place you in handcuffs in front of your children. You don't want that. Okay? You don't want that. Police decide they've had enough and board the pontoon. Alicia, you're going to go in handcuffs. No, Mommy, I don't want to come do on. that, Mommy. It's okay. You guys can come across. Come on, guys. We're not going to do that. Alicia, okay? okay? You got shoes and stuff, bud? I'm sorry, bud. Maybe you should know what the f you're going to say before the f you come here. Come in here saying the wrong name of the fucking dad. You yeah, piece of cop. Sorry, man. What? Wait, what? You're not consoling your child? You're not trying to make this easy on them, but of course not, because you're psycho mother of the year, or at least a candidate for it. And then she starts cussing out the cop because he doesn't know the name of the dad. So therefore, he doesn't have any legal standing. Even your lawyer wasn't on your side, ma'am. Stop with the gaslighting. Stop with the lies. Everybody's just conspiring against you. Your two baby daddies, the man on the boat, I don't know who he is, The uh, uh, your lawyer even. It's like, where did you get that idea? Because if he really, if this, if she was in the legal right, if this, she had the legal rights to do this, the lawyer would have said so. There could have been most, there could have been a lot of things going on. The cops would have been wrong. But clearly the police know they have legal standing to do this by whatever evidence the fathers have put out there. And for them to take the extreme measure, not to wait till she docks, not to wait till the day is over, but to actually come out to the middle of the water to take your kids. Child the ghetto. Spoke Alicia. Yeah. Come on and I'll help the other one put that orange one on here. Okay. You need anything else or you got her? No, we're just, okay. Okay. Where are you guys going to take them? I'm going back to the house. What house? The house where you guys are staying to get their belongings. We're going to this landing over here where we want. You guys can have seats. The house is. They even know where she's staying. This seems like an intervention, like some type of thing going on because this mother is that terrible. Wow. Wow. I just, you know, I just hope these two big brothers can really be there for their little sister and that they can stay united. But at least it seems like the fathers are in their lives and clearly very concerned for their children and want their children and are trying to take care of them. All right. Officers get those kids safely ashore where they decide to split up. Let's join officers at the home where they're looking to collect the kids' belongings. This is all stuff today to them? Yeah. Okay. Why are they not coming up here? I don't get to see them again. They're not here right now, no. So you guys, wait, no. You guys are just coming to get their stuff? Like, yep. I thought Greg was coming up here and I would get to say goodbye to my kids. Here's the deal, ma'am. If you wouldn't have acted the way you did on the boat, we would have left that position. Obviously not if you're not letting me say go. Ma'am, if you wouldn't have acted that way on the boat, we would have let you, we would have brought him here, we would have done whatever we needed to. Police are able to get most of the kids' stuff, but a missing booster seat soon reopens a can of worms. Hello. Can we get the booster seat out of your truck? What? Can we get the booster seat out of the truck? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, is, is there anything else left in there? I'm not coming in, I just, if there's anything else that she wants. Yeah, even the dogs are happy to see the cops are helping the kids. To bring out, or otherwise we'll get out of here. They're not coming here. It's. I don't think so. Call Greg. Get a hold of Greg. See where they're meeting. You can get a hold of Greg. It's gonna be the old and white house. If if that's if the dads are okay with it, that's fine. But yeah, right now, fine. yeah. I get. Wait, so that was the guy on the boat with her that was working with the dads. So is that her current boyfriend? So that's not one of her baby fathers. That is the man she's currently with 
that snitched on her location. Can you at least grab the seat quick. It should be unlocked. Okay. All right. All right. I'll, I'll come back in just a minute and kind of see what's going on, right? Officers grab the booster seat and return to talk to the man. You gotta get out of here, man. Yeah, she's gotta go. She's oh. destroying my house. I'm down two TVs and a bunch. Destroying your house. Yeah. Okay. I mean, this broken glass in the bedroom is what she says. I don't bet she's on. Has she hit you? Yeah. When when did she hit you? Uh, yesterday morning. Yesterday rocks morning? in the driveway. She was throwing rocks at you? Uh, no, she was using them as brass knuckles. Oh. Rocks. Okay. You've been there. Mm-hmm. I'd really not get involved in it this time, man, so be ready, boys. She's gonna go. Come on. We're not trying to take her anywhere. We just... Um, but if there's a problem here, we can't leave you with that either. Yeah, I can't. Does she have somewhere she can go? She, one of no. these vehicles hers? Yes, but she won't leave. She won't, so you want her out? Yes. We can get her out here for you. If, if that's what you want, we can have her removed. But then she's going to come back and she's starting to kill all my family at least a dozen times. Yeah. It sounds like you need a restraining order to start with. Yeah, I know. Seconds later. Wait, wait, wait! So that is the boyfriend that she's staying with He's working with her two baby daddies and she's been beating on him and breaking his stuff and terrorizing him. She's going to kill his whole family if she can't be with him. Oh, no, baby. She needs to be under the jail. Alicia decides it's time to make another appearance. Your mom. What are you guys doing in here? We were just here to get hey, some of the um, stuff. Dad, right now, Ted is probably trying to tell me I'm not stable in the house, and there's two cops at the door, so they're probably getting ready to take me. That is not what's going on. Then I need you guys to go. That's that's not how this is going to go. Alicia makes a dramatic exit, but police aren't far behind. his house he's the, you got three kids two baby daddies and this man can't deal with you no more he's he tried sis time it, it's over where should you go that's your problem call your your daddy that's clearly that's what like what the entitlement of people that don't want to leave your property you have to come home you have to leave. no don't kick my dog! Dad, I'm here. I can not hear you. Do not kick I my dog. I am talking to my dad for- I know this hoe didn't kick the dog. Okay, so. Oh, so this is what we doing. You even gonna abuse the poor baby, the dog? Dogs, they're little innocent mind. They're, little, they're innocent, wagging their little tails. He probably was trying to comfort her and kiss her. And she kicks the dog. Oh, <laughs> The gloves are off. For a second! Then talk. I'm gonna stand right here while you do it. Dad! After allegedly kicking that dog, the suspect continues her conversation. I wanna to talk to Ted privately. No, you're done there, please. Mom, I'm Dad, done. stop! I've had to deal with Julie. I don't care, Dad. I'm not. I'm, I'm saying something. I wanna to talk to Ted privately. Help Dad, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the officer. Okay, that's but, not going to happen. Why? Because because of what you just did. That's not going to happen. Because I because I scurried away and got back from him. You were kicking. Please. The dog was in my face. Okay. You're not talking to him privately right now. That's not how it's going to go. Later in court, just I need you guys to come up here, Dad, and help me. I have a lot of... A spoiled, grown toddler that her parents have coddled 
and let her get away with stuff her entire life. And now in their old in, old, older age, in their golden years, they're dealing with their degenerate ghetto ass child who now has, has, has spawned and actually given birth to more children and is trying to traumatize them. I mean, if this woman is willing to abuse the dog, imagine what she would do to her poor innocent children. Stop. Police give our suspect time to talk, but eventually decide it's time to move on. Well, we got to come up with a solution for what's going on right yeah. now. Yeah. Well, right now I'm talking to my dad. Okay. But we can't stand here all night. So okay, we got to come up so. with a solution now. Okay. Okay. So you guys are going to stand here while I grab everything that's mine? Well, I'm going to give you a couple options. Okay. I'm sure Ted is nice enough to make arrangements so you can get the rest of your stuff. You get what you need for tonight and you go. Or you're going to have to go with us because you can't stay here. What were my options? I said you can gather up the stuff you need for tonight and you can go. And Ted will make arrangements to get the rest of your stuff Why to you. Why can't Ted and I go through everything together and you guys just stand there? Because we don't have all night to do that. You're going to have to make other arrangements if you have that much stuff. So your options are you get what you need and go or we're going to take you. And I don't want to take you. Okay? I would rather just do this peacefully. Alicia starts to gather her things, with one item taking high priority. I need some medicine and I need some chocolate. It's right there. Yeah, I know where my medicine is. He was in is. your way. He was in your way. I was just trying to... I wasn't sure if he said meth. If she said meth or medicine. I mean, it could be both, let's be honest. Am I allowed to take any of the weed or no? There is none. Well, you're not allowed to possess it, so no. Well, uh, here, come on, I'll show you. I'm not worried about it. Get your stuff. No, I'm getting half my... Oh, she's trying to snitch that there's some substance in the house. Like she ain't the crackhead that's been in there smoking up all the stuff with a little angel dust in it. Ma'am, stop. You know the number of times women try to say, if they're getting arrested, well, I'm going to tell on you. And he's on he's on house arrest. He has an ankle monitor. He, he, he's beat me for 10 years and I just never called the cops. But now I'm going to tell it all. He has drugs in the house. Girl, Bob. You're not taking it with you. Well, if we're, it's well not actually, technically. Imagine you getting removed from the house. You have, your children are removed. Your baby daddies and your boyfriend have conspired to get you out of here. And with the police there, I guess in this state, weed is illegal, but she is so bold. She going to go get that weed snitch on herself, really go get that weed and bring it out to the cops so she can catch another charge. Like that's, that's the level of insanity we're dealing with. It's not mine though, so... It, it doesn't matter whose it is, you can't legally possess it. Right. Police follow the suspect into the basement, where she continues searching for the marijuana in front of police, despite it being illegal in Wisconsin. Come here. I wonder what she did with it, Let me just say, I think we should be legalized federally. So I don't have a problem with that. It's the fact that she's doing this in front of cops when it's illegal in Wisconsin and trying to get him caught up. No, ma'am, he has no knowledge of this. You hit that in that house. That's yours. You know exactly where it is. So you will be catching that charge. What about my couch? I want this in my couch. Right. We're not worried about that today. You need Why to miss. Ma'am, I just gave you your options. You get your necessities and leave I'm on your own. The, I'm trying to find my... I lived here for over a year. I'm looking for my stuff. None of your necessities are down here. It's under construction. Okay. Alicia gives up the search and returns to the closet where this situation goes from bad to worse. Do you think you could bring me some tubs? So I could put my... Bed? Do you think you could bring me some I don't think you need that much, do you? You're supposed to be going for it. I'm still taking my necessity clothes with me and all my military equipment, all my military files. I'm going to need more. Military.
military. Oh, Jesus. This woman is in the military or was in the military? What? I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. Tubs, Ted. We bought tubs. Like, what the f he lit on? Ma'am, you need to stop yelling. Is he retarded or he doesn't understand? This is, we bought ma'am. We bought tubs. This is your last chance. If you continue to yell and swear, you are going to go into custody. I've had enough. Swearing? Yes, I've had enough. Get your stuff and let's go. I'm getting my stuff. I'm allowed to swear. It's you are not. freedom of speech. This close. Yeah. Get your stuff. I, I got in trouble doing the same you do. I mean, I got hurt doing the same you do. Get your stuff and I'm let's go. I'm getting my stuff. Quit telling me to do it. Honey, I brought tubs. Oh, now you want to bring tubs. Please load the tubs. After repeated attempts to hurry along our suspect, officers decide enough is enough. He don't get in trouble for all the money that he has, but I get in trouble. That's so funny. That's so typical of you guys. Huh. Ma'am, if I wanted you to be in trouble, I'd have took you to jail a long time ago. Would You're trying my patience. Yeah. Get your stuff and let's I'm, go. Do you not see me getting my I stuff? I told you to get your necessities. And I'm getting my... You see my necessities? That's not necessary. My medicine? My 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 stuff from Last. the military? It's enough. Police deploy a taser after Alicia allegedly hit one officer multiple times. Turn over on your belly now! Yeah! Put your hands yeah! behind your back! Hands behind your back! Hands behind your back! Not the other day. They always give away. The other day you did this. How come every time you guys come, you're always blaming me and I'm the victim? Dad! Dad! Hang on, we'll get them, we'll get them done. All right. You're not supposed to take somebody when you have other medical conditions. You're not supposed to punch a law enforcement officer either. I was getting my stuff! What do you have? What do you have so I can let the ambulance go? <laughs> Ma'am, what conditions do you Don't have? Don't even talk to me. Okay. Dad, this is the okay. second time they jump on all over me. <laughs> I was getting my stuff. Okay. You, uh, you, you have to let them talk to me the whole time. I'm getting my Adam. stuff. 350, sorry. Can you have an ambulance respond here also? I called one. Okay. One. I keep getting locked on, so. That's your dad right here on the phone. Yeah. Hey, I'll, I'll talk to you in a couple minutes, sir. We got to finish this. I'll wait. I'll yeah. wait. Okay, I'll, I'll talk to you in a couple minutes. Okay, sure. We ready? Okay. You want to come grab her then, and I can turn oh, her up? Yeah. All right. Roll her on your left side first. Okay. We gotta get them probes out too, so. Okay. Right? No, 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 okay. okay. Yeah, you Ready? see all these bruises on me? That's what you guys did to me the other day, too. That's what you guys did to me the other day. I wasn't here the other day. Yeah, well, these all these bruises on me is what you guys did to me the other day, too. I'm provoked. They just gave bruises to her. The fact, ma'am, that you have to be hog tied and dragged out, that you have bruises from the police, and she's just saying it like, I, I'm a victim of the police. What? Us normies, this doesn't happen to us. She is led out to a patrol car where she's headed for jail, now with multiple charges. Maybe, I don't know. Go ahead and take a seat in there. 
Alicia Orzel was charged with battery on a law enforcement officer and misdemeanor disorderly conduct for domestic abuse. I like to follow up when I can, and so I looked up her name, and this is what I found. Two area residents were charged with felony battery by assaulting a Sawyer County police officer, a police county. Sawyer County Sheriff's Deputy and City of Hayward Police Officer in recent incidents. The two will make their initial um, the thing. So I don't know if it's the, the two in this case. I'm, I'm trying to figure who's the second person. But it says the sheriff deputies were requested to assist with a child custody issue at the residence. The two fathers told an officer they wanted the three children at the residence returned because Orzel was reportedly becoming very violent, making threats to harm and kill people, and causing problems with her current boyfriend. The children, Orzel and her boyfriend, were um, were currently on Pontu Lake in Lake Chitak. I don't even know. Officers decided to get the children for their safety as soon as possible. Three officers, including a DNR warden, with his boat launched into the lake and found Orzel and the three children, ages 6, 10, and 12, on a sandbar. Orzel tried to physically prevent the officers from taking the children. She called the fathers, but neither one answered. She then called her lawyer and it did not appear he was telling her that she could keep the children. Officers took the children to a safe location according to the court co complaint. As officers were gathering the children's belongings from the residence, from the residence, she became belligerent, swearing at her boyfriend, who told the officers that the previous night she had grabbed some rocks and used them as brass knuckles while hitting him. Jesus be offense. He stated that he was very scared as she made threats to kill him and his family members. An officer told her to gather her things and leave to avoid getting into further trouble. She screamed at him and said, I hope you get hurt. As the deputy attempted to take her into custody for disorderly conduct, she punched him in the face near his left eye and punched him at least two more times in the head. A Birchwood police officer in the DNR warden grabbed her and directed her to the floor. She continued to kick and swing her arms at them from the floor. The deputy tased her and told her to roll over and put her hands behind her back. She then was handcuffed, taken to the Hayward Hospital for, me for a medical evaluation and transported to the Sawyer County Jail. The children were released to the fathers. Orzel was placed on a 2,500 signature bond with a thousand cash component. Her initial court appearance is set for October 3rd. Battery to an officer. Okay, so it, I think this is like somebody else because it was talking about two people of, I guess it's another person that was also charged at the same time for a similar situation. I don't have a follow-up. I, I tried to look it up. Um, I, I'm going to have to, I, I, what I want to do with these is try to look up these people, find out where these cases are, go into the circuit court, see what the outcome is, because if this is played out and she's able to walk free, it will be absolutely disgusting. Um, it's just, I mean, clearly this woman is not fit to walk around and be with the rest of us. And especially if she's just assaulting, you know, clear, she's assaulted other men. She's probably assaulted the fathers in most likely done it in front of the children. And when you start threatening to kill people, oh, sweetheart, it's all fun and games is make those threats. But now, <laughs> wait, wait, what? Hello? Who, who is it? It's the consequences of your actions. <laughs> I'm so corny. All right, guys, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about this one. And I will see you on the next one.